Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Our goal today is to provide you with some basic information about how to become a participating landlord. The Housing Choice Voucher Program, commonly referred to as Section 8, provides rental assistance to more than 13,000 eligible low-income individuals and families in the city and county of Fresno. Section 8 voucher holders can basically lease a unit from any landlord provided they qualify based on the landlord's screening criteria used for all rental applicants, including other qualifying factors related to the program such as 1. How affordable the unit is to the family based on the household income, 2. If the rent is reasonable, and 3. If the unit passes a housing quality standard inspection, otherwise referred to as an HQS inspection. As a property owner or landlord, it's a relatively straightforward process to 1. Market your property, 2. Select an applicant slash tenant, and 3. Go through the steps of qualifying both the tenant and the property for the program. Today, we will be reviewing the benefits of becoming a partner, what do you need to become a landlord, documents you will see during the process, and who to contact for questions. Fresno Housing Choice Voucher Program not only creates a landlord-tenant relationship between the landlord and the tenant, but it also creates a relationship between the landlord and Fresno Housing. And of course, there is the relationship between Fresno Housing and the resident. First, on the left side of the screen, you'll see Fresno Housing provides a voucher to the qualified applicant. The applicant then looks for housing and finds you as the landlord. You, as the landlord, will complete your screening process, the same screening criteria you use for any other resident applicant. After that, then the fun part starts. Yes, the paperwork. It's all information you already know about your property, so nothing new. The applicant will give you a request for tenancy approval, also known as an RFTA packet. We will review this document later in the presentation. Keep in mind that the RFTA is very important because it details information about the property and who to send payments to. After approval and a few other steps, a housing assistance payment, also known as a HAP contract, is entered by Fresno Housing and you as the landlord. We will also review this document in this presentation. Fresno Housing has great benefits to offer as a partner. You receive guaranteed payments with a housing assistance payment contract, otherwise known as HAP contract, in addition to the initial move-in inspection, we also conduct an annual inspection to ensure the property is well maintained by the resident as well as the landlord. Fresno Housing also has an owner services team dedicated to assist with your business needs. We have an inspection department that conducts pre-inspections to assist with faster move-in process. They conduct the initial inspection as well as the annual inspections. Step 1. You find a resident that meets your application screening process. Factors that you may consider are credit history, rental history, and criminal history. You must screen a voucher holder the same way you screen a non-voucher holder. Step 2. You will fill out the RFTA packet with information regarding your property, who will be providing which appliances, and who pays for what utilities as well as the rent amount and lease start date. This document is then returned by the applicant and reviewed by the market specialist, who at that time will conduct an affordability test to see if the resident pre-qualifies. They also conduct a rent reasonable test to ensure that the contract rent is reasonable, taking into consideration rents charged by the landlord in similar unassisted units, locations, quality, size, unit type, and age of the unit. We also look at amenities, housing, services, maintenance, and utilities to be provided by the landlord. It's important to note that the HAP contract rent cannot be higher for a voucher holder than for an unassisted unit. Step three is the unit inspection. An initial housing quality standard inspection is required prior to the tenant moving in. An HQS inspection is quite similar to health and safety requirements you're most likely already familiar with. For example, the unit must have adequate heating and cooling sources. It must be free of electrical hazards, free of lead-based paint, etc. To speed up an inspection process, we also offer pre-inspections on vacant units to assist our partners with a faster move-in process. At step four, we're looking at the lease agreement, which outlines the landlord-tenant relationship. It's important to note here that the lease you use for non-voucher holders is the same lease you would use for voucher holders. Fresno Housing will provide a tenancy addendum attached to the HAP contract to ensure the owner's name, unit address, lease term dates are there, including which utilities and appliances are supplied and paid for by the tenant or the landlord. 
At step five, we'll send you the final documents for signature, such as the HAP contract and if needed, a lease writer, before we release the first HAP payment. And at step six, this is when we show you the money. Depending on what day of the month we receive the signed HAP contract, monthly payments are paid mid-month and first of every month. Let's review some of the documents that you will need. The affordability calculator. This is an income-based program. Residents and landlords are encouraged to use the affordability calculator to ensure that the family's initial rent does not exceed 40% of their monthly adjusted income. You'll enter the 30% figure here and the calculator will let you know if the family's portion of rent plus utilities does not exceed that 40% rent burden requirement. This is a great tool to pre-qualify voucher holders and for example, to make any adjustments in the calculator if you were to make changes to residence or owner responsibility items. The affordability calculator is located on the Fresno Housing website, www.fresnohousing.org. Once you are on the website, click on the menu bar on the top right hand corner of the screen. Under the Partners column, click on Becoming a Landlord. On the following page, scroll down and click on the Rent Affordability Calculator. The Request for Tenancy Approval, also known as an RFTA Packet. We encourage you to review the RFTA Packet to familiarize yourself with what this looks like and what is required for the owner to fill out. Once this packet is completed, it must be submitted to the market specialist for review. The Housing Assistant Payment Contract, also known as the HAP Contract, and Tenancy Addendum. This is a contract between you and Fresno Housing. The landlord will receive two payments, the first being the Housing Assistant Payment that Fresno Housing pays directly to you each month, and the Tenants Portion. It's important to note that the rent that the landlord collects from Fresno Housing and the resident can never exceed the total HAP contract rent. The tenancy addendum is also part of the HAP contract that is attached to the lease between you and the tenant. It provides additional language to the lease and covers areas such as rent, maintenance, utilities, appliances, termination of assistance, and other services being provided. The voucher. The voucher outlines the tenant responsibilities for continuous assistance under the HCV program. It will have the voucher size the family is eligible for and the voucher issuance date. Resident Obligations The family has responsibilities under the program, such as reporting income, who's living in the unit, they must allow the annual inspection to take place, they must not violate the lease, and must not commit fraud or criminal activity. They are also responsible for the behavior of any guest. All applicants are required to attend an orientation prior to receiving their voucher to review these rules and to understand other aspects of the voucher program. These forms can be located on HUD's website at www.hud.gov. If you're interested in learning more about how to bring your property on board or have specific questions about your situation, please contact Brittany Alvara to arrange a one-on-one -on -one call at 559-457-4122 or via email at landlordoutreach at fresnohousing.org or visit our website at www.fresnohousing.org backslash partners backslash becoming dash a dash landlord. Thank you.